Back to our top story this morning about the Free State Education MEC Tate Mahwe and his bodyguards who were killed in a car crash on the N1 outside Winburg in the early hours of this morning. We now cross to reporter Gamochelo Siakwi to tell us more. Very good morning to you, Gamochelo. Thank you so much for joining us. I do understand that uh, you are now at the scene of uh, the wreckage. I mean, what do you see? Uh, just paint a picture for us of what the remains of that accident are. Well, at this point, Simpiwe, uh, the wreckage has actually been uh, cleared, or what I can say is that the road has been cleared. But from what we can see when we arrive here, the accident happened on the other side of the N1, where I'm standing, is the N1 north going to Johannesburg. Um, but the accident happened on the other side of the road. Uh, it looks like the, the MEC uh, was traveling back to, to Bloemfontein. Um, I don't know if my, my uh, video journalist will be able to show you, but but um, from where I'm standing, right there at the back, you can see that um, the car was actually uh, driving from Johannesburg. And as the reports are, we understand that it, the car hit two cows. And um, you can see that there's, a, there's an opening. Uh, this It looks like that's where the car actually hit the fence and rolled onto the other side. Um, there's the, he, he will also show you that, uh, where the car is, is, is standing at the moment. And this, it looks like that's where the car actually stopped. But as it is now, um, the, the, the wreckage has been cleared. Um, uh, residents of Winbeck are actually out here also just watching, I suppose, um, what is happening um, on the road. Um, <clears throat> There isn't really much happening. The road has been closed. There's no traffic um, that is uh, coming here. Everything has been redirected um, as police and traffic officials are, are trying to ensure that uh, the, the space is, is clear. The challenge with this road, Simpiwe, is that um, there's a fence in between the two roads um, coming to um, uh, between the, the N1. But what happens is that the residents here, they actually take these, uh, the fence and they use this in, uh, in their yards. So it actually opens up uh, these accidents because the animals then go astray. You know, so this this is exactly what happened to, to the MEC and that's the reason why um, uh, his car hit the, the, the two cars. It's because of, of the fence um, that is now open. Even where I'm standing right now, as I look here, obviously you won't be able to see, but um, there is no fence and there used to be a fence here. They open it up so that they're able to cross the road and for whatever other reasons that um, they, they, they take the fence. But coming to the MEC himself, um, uh, he, he is he's one person who, who who's whose death or who, whose passing has really uh, disturbed the, the residents of the Free State, really shocked them because he, he has really shown passion and he has really performed in office um, uh, as an MEC for education. He has transformed the education sector in the province. When he came into office in 2009, the, the, the Free State was sitting in the middle right there, position 5 or position 6 towards the end. But when he took over office, um, he ensured that he inspired um, the, the education sector, everyone who's involved there, the learners, the parents, the teachers, and, and, and the unions, you know, um, just to say uh, he wanted this province to, to, to win. And since 2009, when he took office, the province has been in the top spot for uh, seven times and uh, f four of those times have, have been the past four years consecutively. So it just shows you um, the type of a person and the type of a leader he was, someone who really wanted to improve education for the black child. I remember when, when, when we interviewed him in January when uh, he did his well done uh, event for the top 100 learners of the province, um, he told us that his mission is to ensure that all the child schools in the province are well equipped uh, to give these learners quality education. He said there was no point that uh, learners or parents would uh, go around looking for one school or a few schools that are former Model C schools just so that their learners can get quality education. And I mean, it has really shown in his work and the quality, especially 
uh, math and science, which were uh, his his passion. You know, they, they he was really passionate about uh, maths and science. He 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 wanted um, uh, uh, the free state to 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 flourish in 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 those spaces. You know, so that was the man that he was. Uh, we are going to speak to to the premier and some other government officials about the man that he was, the leader that he was. He was not just an MEC, of course. He was also a politician, and and even in that space he he really had influence unfortunately uh with the uh, provincial elections that took place now he didn't make it into the the, the provincial executive uh, committee but the question was and everywhere where we spoke to people the question was if he's not in the PEC and members of the PEC actually make it to become the members of the executive council what is going to happen to Tate because everyone wanted Tate to maintain his position they wanted uh, Tate to be the premier of education they wanted him to to continue lead in the sector because he had taken it from a, a space of no recognition to what is happening in the free state why are the free state learners making it every year what is his um I used to ask him, what is your spice? What is it, the thing that you put in in to ensure that um, everyone is inspired and everyone wants to win? Um, yeah, so that was him. And unfortunately, this is what happened. It is really a dark day in the province. It is really a dark day for the education sector, not only in the province, but in the country. You know, um, but as the day goes, we'll continue covering the story. We'll continue um, speaking to to other people in the sector. We are headed to a press conference that is taking place um, later this morning where the Premier of the province, Mkholi Sudukwana, will be uh, addressing the media about this and hopefully he will share more details about what is to follow. We are expecting a, a budget speech this week. We don't know if that is going to happen, but we'll get all that information in the press, um, in the press conference. With all that, right. is back to you in studio. All right. Kamohelo. Great chatting to you. Thank you so much uh, for giving us that update. Uh, Kamohelo Sikwe there is, uh, you know, uh, on the scene of where the accident took place, claiming the lives of uh, education MEC in the free state, Tate Mahwe and his bodyguard in the earlier hours of this morning. She just gave a glowing account of uh, the legacy that has been earmarked by uh, Tate Mahwe and uh, in his 10-year uh, ten tenure in that province. All right, uh, uh, just uh, news just in, uh, the education uh, uh, Minister Angie Motsera has also issued a statement saying that uh, she's shocked by the passing of uh, Tate Mahwe and that uh, the country, the province and as well as the education sector has been robbed of such a gem.